Ladies, good afternoon. We think we know what we're doing today. Slightly late because Donna decided to cut her hair about three minutes ago. And uh, the little bit of planning that we intended to do today hasn't happened until about 30 seconds ago. So we hope this is right. For those of you who are new, hi, my name is Sarah. Uh, we are filming this video in the uh, market town of Swatham where we have a lovely boutique and of course we have a fabulous website which is why lots of ladies all over the country join us for our weekly styling sessions. Um, if you are new, you will find a button somewhere, um, whether it be on Instagram, YouTube or Facebook. If you push that button, then it means that you'll be updated weekly on these styling videos that we do. And today, ladies, is all about the Tilly, which are these gorgeous wide leg trousers that we've had made for us in Tunisia. Um, more about those in a moment. Those of you who join us every week, hi, let me put my specs on. Hi, Mary, your hair looks fab. We've just seen your hair cut on Facebook. Hi, the two Rosemary's. Can't flick it up anymore without losing the camera. Um, those of you who join us weekly, you know what to do. You know we can't see you. So um, keep asking questions, chat amongst yourselves. I will come back to you uh, with answers to the questions, but it, there could be a delay because I am on my holidays tomorrow morning. So I am catching up every evening, but um, it, it will be more spasmodic than it normally is. Off to Harrogate will not be wearing this. I've had to dig out my thermal vests. Thank God I didn't send my jackets to be cleaned because otherwise I'm not sure what I would be wearing. Slightly lost my drift. Yes, we're talking about the Tilly. So uh, before I run through my outfit, I'm just going to talk to you about the Tilly trouser. So it's a high-waisted trouser, waist crotches here. It's got um, a firm band at the front and it has elastication at the back. So it means that it's super comfortable to wear with two patch pockets. I am wearing, oh, and it comes, ladies, in three colours. It comes in white linen, navy linen and a chambray cotton. The other thing I need to tell you before I forget is our delivery for this week hasn't arrived yet. So if you look online and try and buy them, you will see that we don't have many left in smaller sizes. Just but, but pop them on back order because the boxes should start arriving tomorrow. So they're in two fabrics, a linen in navy and white and also the cotton chambray. Um, we have been trying to get these trousers for about 18 months, haven't we? We've yep. been talking about these. In fact, we've been talking about them so long that we thought we were imagining them because what we wanted actually for last winter was a heavier weight. We wanted a pull-on denim trouser, but it didn't arrive. Um, hopefully it will for this winter. Um, and what has arrived is the linen and the chambray for uh, summer. They come in two lengths at the moment. They come in a 30 inch leg and they come in a 32 inch leg. The linen will be arriving this week in a 28 inch leg. At the moment, the chambray cotton is only available in the two leg lengths. From next week, you'll be able to get the linen in the three leg lengths. Gonna come back to the Tillies in a couple of minutes. Uh, what we're doing today is showing you 10 different ways to wear them because for a lot of us it's been quite a while since we've worn a trouser that this is this wide. But you know I'm loving them. They're not so wide that I'm going to trip over them when I run um, and they're just so so comfortable to wear. Um, I'm doing this back to front. This is probably my holiday outfit. And actually, ladies, as I go through what I'm wearing today, um, 
I must do this automatically now, but I have actually put together a little holiday wardrobe, completely unintentionally, but everything that you see me wearing, you can probably mix and match with other pieces that I've put together. So this is the Agel three quarter sleeve. It's in uh, elephant, this color is cool, but if I come up closely, hopefully that you can if i wave it around can you see it's got sparkle in it it's absolutely gorgeous i am 14 to 16 for those of you who don't know i'm 59 i'm 58 this week 59 next week and i am five foot six so i'm 14 to 16 on the top and 10 to 12 on the bottom now we think the linen trousers depending on your body shape ladies are coming up um a tad big so i am actually in a size eight uh so i'm basically wearing the same size that i would if um, i had a stamen trouser on having said that ladies you must remember i have no hips and because of the elastication, there's no zip and fly. These trousers have to get over your biggest bit. So when buying them, that's the thing you need to consider. So if you have uh, fairly large hips, you may need to stick to your own size. But as always, we're very happy to whistle out a tape measure. So this little jumper, I think Linda did get it online this afternoon. She's probably put about 10 or 12 items online. They need to be checked against stock before I publish them, however. So the likelihood of this jumper being published this weekend is quite slim because I'm away and it is on the shop floor. So if your life is incomplete without it, I would actually message, comment or email us because uh, I deeply suspect the same thing that will happen as did last week with the stripy one will sell out in 24 hours. So this is the three quarter sleeve jumper from Agel. It's £59. I'm wearing it with my lovely Envy necklace which is the long bead teardrop necklace which is online and £24. And I'm in the 32 inch, um, what are these called, Tillies, um, because I have a heel on. These are the espadrilles from Fab. They are so comfortable. From refresh. Well, oh, Fab. Refresh. I'm slightly slopping around in these because um, I took the 40s home with me. These are a 41. I take seven and a half, I'm wearing a 40. Because Refresh is a new brand for us ladies, I haven't gone mad. So basically I've only got one and a half runs in each color, which again means if you want them, buy them. The heel is about two inches. There's a lot of padding here. They are super comfortable. They are uh, nude, red and navy and they are £50 online, size 6 through to 41 already with gaps. Outfit number one, how to wear the tillies. Here's Donna. Hello, and here's my outfit number one. So I'm in the chambray tillies. Um, I um, So Sarah's already spoken to you about that, that they are cotton. Um, they're £65, I don't know if she mentioned half the price. So all the Tillys are £65. Um, the pockets are grey, love the fact they've got pockets. I'm wearing the shoes that we, um, Sarah just spoke about. So the wedge, they're online as wedge espadrilles. I'm wearing the navy and you can see um, a wedge heel is a real comfy heel to wear and the top that I've chosen to wear with them because I'm only five foot if you wear such um, a wide leg trouser and such a full trouser it um, I would I would swamp myself if I wore something baggy on top so if you're very short like me you can still wear wide leg trousers but you have to think um, about what goes on top. So on top, as you can see, it's a very fitted top and I've gone for sleeveless. That doesn't mean to say you always have to go for sleeveless with wide leg, um, but showing the flesh helps. Um, so I have chosen 
Um, this is by Sakana and it's online. It's called the Sleeveless Shirt from Sakana. I think we have this. This is out on the shop floor and I we I think there's one in red as well. I think I'm right. T-shirts in red. Be, uh, the, ah, yeah, it's the same pattern. Yeah. yeah, it's the same pattern. That's right. I did try that on today. So um, we, we do have the T-shirt in the similar pattern in the red. Um, so it's very fitted, as I said. Comes up from extra small to um, extra, extra large. So the extra small is the eight. So I'm in the eight, small 10 and so forth. And and there we go. I am um, now. What we're going to do now is we want lots and lots of you have already bought the Tilly trousers. So Sarah and I can only tell you so much about how we find them. What we want to do now is those of you who have bought the Tilly trousers um, in both lengths or or colours, can you please now? pop some comments on that will help the other people thinking about them. So what questions have we got, Sarah, regarding so, them? Uh, we think that um, we think that with the linen trousers, you probably need to treat the sizing the same as you would your stamen oh, trousers. Oh, the stamen trousers, So you yeah. go down a size. Yeah. So that yeah. that's what we think about the linen. And with the chambray, we just think that they're a generous size in the size they are. Yeah. So, for example, I'm in an 8 in the linen, but I'm in a 10 in the chambray. But, and I'm a yeah. 10 to 12. But that's, you're in an 8 because you have but no I hips. But I have no hips. If Sarah had hips to get the eight over that well it wouldn't happen well no the widest part you need yeah. to be able to get that elastic stretched over your widest part so if you so have, have we got any yeah. feedback i can't right. see because i've got my socks oh, right, right. right. So on. i'm gonna look for feedback uh no questions yet any comments has anybody had these right. i'm just going to commenting change. about the size donna's going to quickly get changed into her next this, outfit this. and then we'll come back and have a little look oh so, no i've forgotten to tell oh, about okay. my necklace those of you who've bought the trini necklace um i've been experimenting with it because it's a long necklace um and i've been experimenting and i just want to show you that the necklace that I'm wearing is the Trini, but you can wear it as a choker, look, ladies. So you can wear it as a choker. Oh, oh Sarah's fab. Amazing. So Love obviously it. both colours. Sarah's wearing the gold. Oh, yeah. So you can, um, if you buy the Trini as a long necklace, you can turn it into a choker and you do it because it just, not done this on camera before. So basically it wraps oh God, around twice. Have again. Yeah, we are. It wraps around twice, but remember you won't have the label. And I, I've done it a million times. So there you go. So that's the Trini, comes in gold and silver, £27. And you get two necklaces out of one because you can have the long and the... There we go. I've done my bit. Right. So same holiday. You've got carry-on luggage, so you um, have limited amount of uh, space to pack. So I've still got my espadrilles, nude, £50 from Refresh. Still wearing the 32-inch leg Tillies. And now I have on the jungle print top from um, Pomodoro. And I am going to be a bit scary and come right up to the camera so that you can see the beautiful pattern on this you need to hop over to the website to appreciate the print completely ladies but it's got giraffes on it um i think those are leopards probably would be easier for me if i could actually see what i'm doing um and lots and lots of big flowers and this is for those ladies who like to wear their um tunics they're wide linen trousers with a tunic. But if I took these heels off, it doesn't work, ladies. All of a sudden, because my legs are quite short, it, it's not happening. So for me to be able to do this, I have to wear a tunic with a heel because these beautiful, beautiful trousers are making me look as if I'm two or three inches um, taller than I actually am. Uh, so this jungle print top is uh, £81. You can get it online. And I am just going to go and do a rescue job with Donna because what you didn't know, ladies, is 
hang on she's unpinned herself which she wasn't supposed to no, do no no it flipped off yeah okay. there you are okay. so um she's actually got um her trousers pinned <laughs> which was supposed to be a top secret until she couldn't get back into them now remember donna is a six to eight she has the um eight chambray trousers on and uh because she's got such a tiny waist uh it was a bit big on the waist so uh, she, hers is pinned, but she's going to come back now and I'm going to read the comments. I'm just going to, oh, gorgeous top. Right, yeah, so we know it's gorgeous. Alison help. Wright says, I have them in all three colours, true to size for larger hips. I think the chambray are tight to fit. You're right. And you're in a yeah. 14, aren't you, Alison? Uh, stick to a size 12, border size Christine base, but Christine has got a tiny waist and she has hips as well. So I think probably Navy came out bigger than the chambray. Yes, yeah. it did. So I think we're on the right um, track here. You need to think mm -hmm. about your um, body shape when making a decision what to actually buy. Love this outfit, but I've got to go and get changed. Right, so um, same trousers, the chambray. Um, so Sarah's told you the secret that I've pinned them um, and the reason being they need they're high waisted and so when you put them on when when you, if you order them you don't want them down here they need to be high waisted otherwise you're gonna have that saggy crutch that none of us want um, but so in I would need myself personally I'm a six in trousers. I would need, to, and we and we don't have them in a six. Yes, they're coming. So they we had will. Had a discussion with John today, yeah. didn't we? And jo we coming. had John on the phone today, and because they do, because they are quite generous, we've had a conversation with him about going down to a six. Um, we won't have the large number. We'll have a limited supply, but you know, I'm not the only one. It's that word petite. Um, so it's about sizing down. I, um, my body is in proportion to my height and I am petite every, look, look at my wrists. There's nothing of them. I snap. <laughs> so I, I am petite. Um, so that's why I've pulled the waist in. And the reason I've done it is so that you don't see me on camera with a saggy crutch, which aren't you pleased about? <laughs> Right, so what I've done, uh, this jacket is on the shop floor today, um, just arrived, very new in. Um, it's by Signature, it is £75. We have the same jacket with a that has a collar by Signature in navy. This one, we only have it in the white. Um, the, um, what do you call this collar? Uh, narrow. A what? Narrow collar. Oh, I was going to say, no, it's not a granddad because it's like no collar, isn't it? But there we go. Very lovely. Obviously, I push up the sleeves because then with the wide leg trousers, so it doesn't drown me. And the reason I put it on is because it's so blemming cold. It's really freezing in the shop today. Before I went on camera, I was wrapped in my um, coat again. The coat are back out. Right, I've put it on. Let me just put this down somewhere that it won't get dirty. Right, I've put, um, so I've changed my top to show you that you can wear a sleeve. It doesn't have to be sleeveless. And I've chosen the, this is the Coastline B um, Stripe Breton. It's a, it, it's a really lovely jersey feel, um, very relaxed fit. I'm going to pull it out to show you how long it is. So that's how long it is, ladies. So if you want to wear it over a straight trouser you can but obviously if you the, the way to wear the um the wide leg trousers is if you want to wear something out you don't if you don't do tucking in then you want to wear something very fitted on top with a wide leg but failing that i'm just gonna turn that into a boxy so there we go i've, I've tucked that in because now the boxy look is a great look with the wide leg. And I just, um, those of you who watched last week, I, there was the navy and gold striped um, sweater that sold out in 24 hours. That was perfect on me, absolutely perfect with a wide leg trouser. And I had that planned to wear today, but that shape, so that shape is perfect to wear um, that boxy look and then it's um, oh there is so there's this one which I couldn't wear today because um, 
if I, I would I would wear this I'm one with the navy it. and Sarah's wearing it but look at that shape I just wanted to show you the shape on the hanger so that's the shape that you're looking for on the hanger there we go right Sarah's ready yep okay I'll do it okay so ladies this is um how to wear your tilly trousers outfit number three and it is part of a core holiday war wardrobe so i could wear this shirt with my white tillies as well as my navy ones still in the uh 32 inch leg so it's a going out in the evening job uh and i have the navy espadrilles on now 50 pounds 65 for the tillies and I am wearing the ethnic uh, ethnic print shirt from Pomodoro, which is uh, 50 pounds. And you can see that because I've tucked it in, I look like a giraffe, which is what I like to look like. But just this depth makes your legs look so much longer especially when you've got a heel to elongate them by two inches at the bottom so i've tucked it in and then i've slightly tucked it out at the back because as you know i don't have a waist so i just have to cover up my non-wastedness another way to wear a shirt is actually to have it tied at the waistline now i can't do this because unlike christine and donna i don't ever knot my shirts but they have a special way of tucking it through a button or something what i'm just going to do is quickly knot it to show you that once you've done this you have got yet another outfit for your holiday wardrobe if you just pop a vest underneath this and undo a button, which I'm not going to do too much because I haven't got a vest and you don't want to be scared. But there you are, another outfit just by knotting your shirt at the bottom. And I'm sure later in the season when Donna starts wearing all her capris and all her crops, she will be showing you how to do that special knotty buttony thing. Um, in the interim, just uh, have a little Google. But I love this outfit. This is such a fine cotton. Um, it would just, it's just really, really cool to wear. Oh, I'd almost forgot my bracelet. My bracelet is uh, the stretch bracelet. And that's not very handy, is it? <laughs> it's a stretch bracelet like the other two. I'm just going to show you this thing because this thing is the thing that, that uh, sets it apart from the other two stretch bracelets that we've got. It's got the little marbling here and then lots of little stony jobs here and then gold beads here. And it is uh, it's kept together by a little gold uh, disky thing here. So this is one of our stretch bracelets. It's £21 and that would give you a clue as well. How do I do this knotty thing? Can you do it on me? Um, I've lost my glasses. Look, Donna's lost her glasses. I'm going to do the knotty thing, ladies. Can you tell me what to do? Well, I don't actually. When you call it the knotty thing, I'm thinking, what does she do? Mean? But you but don't you button something and then stick it all through? No, that was Christine. That wasn't me. What oh, okay. I do? Oh, well, she's going. She's going to dress well, me. What What I do is if you don't because some people don't like to be tucked in. I do this. I have the buttons open, and then I tuck that, and I do that cross, and then that tucked in there, and then. Hang on, it's not tucked in properly enough. And then that's what I do. So that's that's another something that I do to um give you the tucked in look without tucking in. Because okay. if you if you tuck in, it makes you it makes your waist bigger because you're bulky, yeah? So that's one thing that I do. But the not the knot thing is Christine. You'll have to Google it because yeah. neither of us know what to do. Yeah. I think Donna's here with her next outfit, aren't well, you? Or minute, are you knotting that one? I wasn't actually fit. Oh, are you talking about the twist that I do? No, 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 no. no. There's a no. definite knotty thing. No. She's twisting. I got her too soon. <laughs> are you ready, my darling? Uh, right, I'm coming on now. Sorry. She's coming on now. <laughs> oh, my God, we have had such a day. Yeah. Honestly, we've just decided we've got to come in and do this between 7 and 8 in the morning so that it's done rather than and not allowing customers in the fitting rooms because we 
busy trying stuff on. Right, she's almost got her bag. I've got the wrong shoes She's on. got the wrong shoes on, but she's gonna put the right shoes on now. This outfit is definitely worth waiting for. You right. look gorgeous. The hilarious right. thing is that I am going to tell you, I am gonna tell you. Right, oh, I've got a man watching me through the window. Right, <laughs> let's let's just wait for him to move on. All right, thank you. <laughs> um, right, um, the hilarious thing is that I've told you that the um, tillies I needed to pin to have them um, so they didn't fall at the crutch. And then the two other trousers that I had planned to wear, both my sizes were sold. So normally I'm in an eight, but I'm in a 10. And um, the next pair of trousers, the same thing. I would normally be in an extra small, which is an eight, and I'm actually gonna be in a small that's a 10. Yeah, so I'm wearing that. a 10. So Sarah said, well, I couldn't tell, and I'm going to show you that actually I have, what I've done, these trousers are absolutely beautiful, these culottes, but if I literally let go of them now, they will fall down to my ankles. So they have a tie. They have a tie. They're, they're by, they're Stamen trousers. They're online. They're called Hamra. They're called Hamra Tailored Culottes. Very, um, I've never seen tailored uh, trousers by Stamen before, but I'm sure Sarah has. So they have pockets. I'm going to tie them up so I don't lose them on camera again. So you can see why I'm having to do it because they would be at my ankles. So they've got the lovely tie. So um, pockets, tailored, and look at the length, ladies. So they are a cropped culotte. So online we have them Hamra tailored culottes and they are £69. We have limited stock in these and we don't have an eight. I know that because I looked. Right, so what I was doing, and that's why I was having a problem tucking in because um, I didn't want the trousers, the trousers to fall down. So you've seen this top on me before. It, you need to go up a size because it's such fine material. So I've gone up a size. I'm in a 10. Um, it's the high neck um, slate blue top. And it is, um, I can't remember how much. I did know. Let me see. A outfit two. No, outfit three. three. Uh, slate blue, £45. This is so, a great way of showing how to move it into spring and summer too, isn't it? Well, we've been, we we've had been it showing really this early lots, spring, we? didn't we? Yeah, we got yeah. it first in, I think, the end of January. Yeah, but it's so fine. Um, and, and I that, and that's fab how with I white as well. So what I've done is, normally you see me as navy trousers, but these shoes are wonderful. So these are the wedge um, uh, espadrilles in the nude. So nude and look how well they go with the Gianni Conti bag. So this is the bowling bag by Gianni Conti and um, it just, does it lift last it? One, it lifts it, it, it like one. very summery. I think this is the last one. But we do, I do, I am showing you our other, one of our other Gianni Conti um, bags. And this one is the bowling bag is um, 84 pounds. There we go. Right, ready? Okay. That looks gorgeous. I love that. That looks really lovely. So this is my outfit number four, ladies, and I've just realised I haven't done handbags. So uh, still in my navy uh, tilly trousers, 32 inch leg, still with the navy espadrilles. What I've done is I've just popped a plain signature tee underneath. This is online in the sale at £15. And we have here... The, this gorgeous necklace which is called the long chain link bar necklace from envy so it's got a little faux fob in it it's not a real fob you change it at the back and then it's got this heavy drop thing but ladies i am not wearing a jacket i am wearing the ethnic print dress so you can wear this on your holiday as a dress but you can also wear it as a jacket. And I could wear this with a white t-shirt and uh, white hilly trousers with this over the top. Uh, it is 70, uh, ha, 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 ha. Right, let's see how it's 72 pounds. It's the Pomodoro ethnic print dress. I have last year's version of this. Um, which I will be digging out if the sun ever shines. Just a little bit of an empire line. 
and then I don't know if you can see but it's tiered so when it's a dress it's very very floaty I've actually got the 12 on because we sold the 14 so without a hunch I am going to hunch and try and get it done up so obviously this is not going to fit me it's going to gape a bit because I would be wearing a 14 normally no actually it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be I'm just doing it up ladies part of the way down so that you can see what it looks like as a dress there you are i'm almost there so if we just ignore the trousers just pretend this is the most gorgeous floaty dress it's got a little belt which i would tie at the back pockets which are hugely important and although this is outfit number four, how to wear chilly trousers, it probably is outfit number five if you're thinking about putting together a holiday wardrobe. And if I just pull the trousers up and put the dress down, look how gorgeous it looks with these espadrilles. And of course, you can replace uh, it with flip flops as well. Although this is nowhere near the shop floor, we sold a lot when we did the reveal, ladies. So if you want this for your holiday wardrobe, do not hang around, purchase it. I am going to have a chat with um, Pomodoro to see if they can get more stock back in from Spain from uh, for us. But I can't guarantee that. So I would assume, ladies, that anything that you see... Uh, that we're selling from Pomodoro that we can't get any more in. And if we do, it will be an added bonus. Love this outfit, Donna. Um, when we do the photos throughout the week, you'll see that um, I borrowed Donna's belt and you may see my eyes <laughs> bulging because I couldn't breathe <laughs> as I was trying to take the photo. I thought she was going to pop out. <laughs> I thought she was going to pop Right, so here's Donna in her outfit number four. Okay, outfit number four. Um, love these trousers by Sakana. Um, they, but we sold my size. I wore them in the reveal. So it was after the reveal. So we have a complete run still. We showed them in the Sakana re reveal and one of our lovely customers on the island of Jersey, you know who you are, uh, bought my size. So um, they didn't come home with me. Um, so, I, but, but this is fine. I've gone into the 10 um, and it's, o it's okay. Ooh standing on the labels so they are a jersey material the when i had my size on they were more of a seven eight yes but now that i've gone up a size if i stand here can you see they're more full length which is good because that's what we're talking about so wide leg jersey uh, material very stretchy very comfy very cool actually um, I know it's not a hot day, but just trust me on this. They're going to be really cool in the summer. Um, lovely pockets, which I always love. My own belt, which is my um, staple piece of my wardrobe. Um, these, so let's get the prices. Oh, that's Sarah's. Those are Sarah's prices. Excuse me. There we go. Right, so these trousers are... Sukana wide leg print, wide leg print collots, £55. Um, the top that I'm wearing is a black top by Signature at £39. And it is a knit. It, it's a three-quarter sleeve. Well, it's not a three-quarter sleeve. It's a sort of a 50, 50 sleeve, isn't it? It's covering my um, elbows just. And I'm going to come in close so you can see it. It's a very fine knit perfect for this time of the year we just have it in black right so i've teamed them with um the same shoes the nude espadrilles so there we go and uh bag this is the genie uh, gianni conti bucket bag i don't think we've shown you i can't remember showing you this on the reveals so i think you, i'm not sure sarah might have but this might be a new one so this is the Gianni Conti bucket bag, which is £84, um, short with a leather handle, but I'm pretty sure it has a long strap in there. Yes, so you can use it um, as a longer strap. 
and yeah this is an outfit that um i'm loving it feels really, really comfy you look really and really smart as well i mean you can yeah. go anywhere in that so what i'm doing sarah's just hit the nail on the head i'm wearing these as my um next same trousers next so this is my dressing up look with these trousers and the next outfit i'm going to do a dress down right so ladies i just need to grab something because i uh didn't get time to get my shoes so i'm gonna wear them on my hand not on my feet so this is my outfit number five um and this is the uh tilly and the chambray i am in the uh 30 inch leg love it really really gorgeous trousers so easy to wear loving the pockets could drone on about these forever but the reason we love them so much is because they just have been made to they just ticked all the boxes that we wanted with it i've teamed up i just need to look this up this is actually called the oversized t-shirt from sakana um and it's not that oversized actually it's just a loose t-shirt if you wear your size so i'm in the large which is um in sakana about a 14 probably a small 14 um if you are if you're a sort of six, 14 16 e big 16 then um i've lost the plot here sakana extra large is a 16 isn't it Double XL is what yes. eight is extra small is a Ex extra small, small is, is an a eight small, small is, is a ten. ten medium is a twelve, 12. large is a 14. fourteen so they obviously are quite generous extra large is a sixteen I think because it's oversized I can get away with wearing a large whereas I'd normally be an extra large in Sakana it's online and it is fifty five pounds and it is i think this is viscose i didn't actually look before we did it but i can't get over how soft it is and if i turn around you've got the if i can find the notch neck at the back this has there here it is yeah notch neck at the back so it's got a lovely little detailing could do a trinny and turn it round and see what it looks like um Does with a notch she she's that? always turning her tops around see if the notch works at the front but um we could get in a huge model doing that now these are the slides that um are not online yet they're on my list of things to do as soon as i get back they're like a little faux birkenstock so they've got lots of support um over the heel arch they are wide if you have narrow feet you are going to walk through these these are perfect ladies for hobbit feet we have them in this camel and we also have them in black yeah, i've got hobbit feet now now you'll love them we also have them in black i'm absolutely devastated because i ordered them for me and i can't walk in them because they're too wide because i just love this fringing not online yet will be when i get back um and that is my outfit number five ladies how to wear your tilly trousers in 10 ways are you ready donna uh yes i think donna is almost in the room ladies right okay okay here she is right that's sarah's okay so my final outfit same trousers um it feels very odd being in front of the camera with uh, wearing flats but i've got flat form trainers flat form trainers ladies they were in and now they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bit like that blue and lady jumper. Yeah. We're, we're a little bit of a victim of our own success <laughs> in that um, uh, we get stock in. Sarah <laughs> gets stock in. There's a grand job of finding the stock. And um, a lot of it tends to only be in here for a flash <laughs> and it's gone. So, yeah, so two pairs left, I'm afraid. So, but um, one of them, I've been waiting for these flat form trainers, but you know any trainers dressing down showing you how to wear your wide legs with um, a trainer basic this t-shirt is our is our basic t-shirt we have a basic t-shirt every year um we i think we we stocked this in the other shop the cap sleeve first and it was so successful and so lovely that we've had it back again this year but this year we have a lot more colors 
and this is a, a basic part of your i'm calling it basic t-shirt because it should it's a basic part of your wardrobe so i'm wearing it in black we have it in navy we have it in red we have it in pale blue we have it in cream and it, you know you're going to wear it with anything so it's a basic part of your wardrobe and it is uh where have i written down how much it is I think it's 27. Mm, 27 pounds. Um, I am going to show you, I'm going to do the intact because I know some of you, many of you like to see how long it is. Um, so you can see it's really long. There we go. And I could wear I could wear this out. I would wear this out with wide leg trousers. So the tunic, giving you the tunic look. Um, so Isabel bag, we've had the Isabel bag for a long time now. This, um, I've chosen tan because it goes really well with these trousers. And what I've done is, normally you see it sitting on the hip, but to bring your Isabel bag on trend, ladies, if you just shorten it and have it so that it's, oh, I've, I've, done, I've gone the other way. Have it so that it's just tucked under your boob. Can you see? Have it there. And that's the, um, that's the on-trend way to wear it. Um, so the Isabels come, we have them in a um, variety of colours still, uh, £46. And that's me completed. That's me finished. Um, final outfit. Yes. Okay, so I haven't shown you how, how this is how long ah, this how is long. Yeah. out. Yeah. So ladies, that's it for today. Let me check the time. Oh no, we're okay. We've got a few minutes to go. I'm off. From tomorrow, I'm not back until Wednesday-ish, possibly Thursday. So Maria is on her own tomorrow, ladies be kind. She's absolutely fabulous, but please remember she's only been here for a month and for a week of that, both Donna and I were off with COVID. Donna's in on Saturday, Maria and Donna are back in on Tuesday uh to crack on with the online orders but it does mean that um you know we are going to be a bit slower than usual normal service will return next thursday when we are doing another video and next week's video is uh new arrivals so we're just going to line up everything that linda's got online over the past two weeks because apart from our basic t-shirts which God knows where they are. They got to the border in France from Austria. They didn't have the right paperwork. So they were sent <laughs> back to Austria. We think they've arrived in Austria. We don't know if they've left yet. But there's some. the, the most important thing is that uh, the mojito dresses in that shipment. Basic t-shirts and sweatshirts. Apart from that shipment where we have no idea where it is, everything else is here now uh, for the uh, late spring, early summer drop. So we'll run you through everything that is online so that you can grab it before somebody else nabs it. Um, whatever you're doing this weekend for the bank holiday weekend, I hope you have a fabulous time. What are you up to, Donna? Um, I am... Um... Uh, my husband is away, but my husband is away being a pirate in, if, you, if you're in that part of the world, oh, I, what's the name of the place? Oh, um, Cornwall. Padstow. No. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't think I'm having one of those moments. And my husband, there's a pirate festival going on somewhere in Cornwall. Uh, in the West Country. Oh, yeah, was that? On the South in Coast. England. In England. Devon. <laughs> it's not even in Cornwall. It's in Devon. Anyway, he's down there and it's a very huge festival. And if you're in that part of the world, go and look. And you're looking for um, the m medieval executioner and go and say hello. <laughs> He'll love it. He might cut your head off. <laughs> <laughs> He'll love it. He'll, he, you know, he goes and has photos taken. So it means that I've got a weekend at home. Lovely. And, yeah, by myself. Okay, so have a fabulous weekend, whatever you're doing. We're going to disappear now. And, um, yeah, thanks for joining us.